Welcome to DC's Top of the Rocks. I'm Drew Creaseman, and these are my top 10 Colorado Rockies defenders of all time. First, let's do an honorable mention, and it's the new guy, Ryan McMahon. This might seem a bit hasty. McMahon hasn't been around all that long, but he has already excelled so much at third and second base that he's accumulated enough defensive bar to rank eighth all time on the Rockies list. Being a lead at two positions and garnering more defensive run saves than any other player in MLB in 2021, McMahon's versatility, athleticism, and cerebral approach to the game could see him climbing this list very quickly over the next few years. Number 10, Eric Young Sr. The original EY. He never won a gold glove, but is tied for 10th all-time in Colorado Rockies defensive bar. And there was never a dull moment with him on the field. His elite speed and athletic ability allowed him to get to baseballs that other infielders could only dream of. He never had the best arm in the world, but those feet and his mind for the game, which has seen him stay in baseball as a coach long after the end of his playing career, made him a dependable and dynamic defender. Number nine, Tony Walters. His fantastic framing and blocking were backed up by a middle infielder skill set that allowed him to hop out of the crouch and make plays in the field as well as any catcher in recent memory. His savviness to call pitches and navigate lineups while working with an incredibly young pitching staff were vital to his team's success in 2017 and 2018, and his ability to throw out would-be base dealers while sporting a phenomenal mustache earned him one of the best catchphrases in franchise history. You don't dash on the stash. Number eight, Nafi Perez. The winner of the National League Gold Glove at shortstop in the year 2000, Perez holds a special place in many Rockies fans' hearts. Always a light hitter, he was a tremendous athlete who played in over 1,400 MLB games and had a 12-year career almost entirely because of the value he brought on defense. He ranks sixth all-time in the Colorado Rockies defensive war charts despite playing just five and a half seasons in Denver. He did it all on D, and he always did it with a smile. Number seven, Trevor Story. Story brought all the skills to the table as a Rocky shortstop over the last six seasons. One of, if not the best pure athletes in franchise history, Trev was nominated for a gold glove in 2019 after putting up 21 defensive runs saved. At 28 years old, he also still has plenty of time to improve his resume. He already ranks third in Rocky's history in defensive war, which is mighty impressive, even if he is headed off to new pastures in 2022. Number six, DJ LeMahieu. A three-time gold glove winner, LeMahieu is easily the best second baseman in Rockies history. Never especially loved by the advanced metrics outside of 2017 and 2018, where he put up 14 and 18 DRS respectively, he is inarguably one of the most sure-handed defenders in the game. LeMahieu has never made more than nine errors in a season, and seven times in his 11-year career, he has made four or fewer blunders on the year. That gives him a career fielding percentage of 991. Number five, Clint Barmas. Arguably the most underrated defender in Rockies history, Barmas never won a gold glove. In fact, he was never even nominated for one. And that's a true misfire by the voters when you consider his monster numbers, eclipsing 100 defensive runs saved in his career. Only the top player on this list has amassed more. Barmy finished in top five in the NL in defensive war five times and came in first once. He averaged over 15 DRS per season at shortstop, which is better than Omar Vizquel, who is making a Hall of Fame case based on defense alone. Playing mostly in an age where offensive struggles could blind fans and media to defensive prowess, a closer examination of the career of Clint Barmas reveals a true genius with the glove. Number four, Carlos Gonzalez. You won't find Cargo on too many defensive war or DRS lists, but you will find him roaming the nightmares of base runners looking to take that extra bag. 
One of the best runners and throwers in team history and of his era, Gonzalez played all three spots in the most difficult outfield in baseball for over a decade with a grace that made it look easy. And it was not easy. He had a propensity for the spectacular and the athletic ability to do just about anything that any outfielder could do. He's got three gold gloves on the mantle. He should probably have more. Number three, Larry Walker. We don't have as many advanced defensive stats for Walker's era, but anyone who watched him play knows that he didn't win seven gold gloves by accident or mistake. As suspect as that award could be in the 90s, the newly enshrined Hall of Famer had the best arm of any Rocky ever, and probably of anyone in his generation. Sorry, Vladdy. His athletic instincts were preternatural. His tools rated off the charts. In a sea of Rockies players who have been overlooked and lost in the shuffle to the rest of the league, Larry Walker was respected. Larry Walker was feared. The only thing that keeps him from being higher on this list is that right field isn't quite as important as, well, number two, shortstop, Troy Tulowitzki. At his absolute peak, nobody in Rockies history was a more valuable defender than Tulo. His 2007 is easily the best single season performance in franchise history and truly one of the greatest by any ball player in recent times. His 3.1 defensive war from that season was a full 1.2 wins more than the second best defender in the National League. In 834 chances, he committed just 11 errors, a fielding percentage of 987. Those are literally Ozzie Smith numbers. Only three times did the Wizard of Oz get to more balls in play in a year, but all three times he made over 20 errors. Only twice did Ozzie post a fielding percentage as good as Tulo's in 2007. He never bettered that mark. And in both of those seasons, Oz had fewer chances. It all amounted to a whopping 31 defensive runs saved for Tulowitzki in 2007, which is eight more than the second most in Rockies history. He did not win the gold glove that year. Of course, injuries, especially to the hips, would sap him from ever reaching that level again. But even a less than 100% too low was still able to go on and win a pair of gold gloves and amass 94 career defensive runs saved. Number one, Nolan Arenado. Nolan Arenado might well be, simply put, and without over-exaggeration, the greatest third baseman who has ever played baseball. He has so many defensive awards, eight consecutive gold gloves, four platinum gloves, four fielding Bible awards, and those are just the major ones. He has essentially invented a new way of playing the hot corner. He does things on a weekly basis that there are no stats for. Where we do have stats, he's got 15.6 defensive war as a Rocky, tops all time, and an eye-popping 137 defensive runs saved. He succeeds at making plays most other guys, regardless of position, wouldn't even consider attempting, wouldn't even think of. In individual seasons, others have risen to challenge for his crown. But over the entire course of his nine-year career, and perhaps throughout history, Nolan Arenado has simply been peerless on defense. Thank you all for watching and listening, and thank you to Annika for video editing and Pat for the logo. Remember that for more baseball talk and a whole bunch of nerdy talk, including movies, video games, comic books, Star Wars, all that good stuff, head over to patreon.com slash dc productions. <laughs>